Labib from Bangladesh. The hadith of there is no uh, contagiousness. La adwa, wa la tira, wa la hama, wa la safar. The hadith in Arabic. Now, he says the Qadianis use this to say that there is a prophet coming after the prophet والسلام, so I'd like to understand uh, the meaning of the hadith first of all are you nuts you are quoting what Qadianis say about an authentic hadith and how they use this to justify their kafir belief that there can be a prophet after the prophet والسلام, are you a Muslim Come on, Labib, give me a break. Nobody quotes Qadianis or Baha'is. Qadianis and Ahmadis are like. These are disbelievers. They are not related to Islam. Might as well quote what the Jews and Christians said about the Quran. You can do that. It's the same thing. So you definitely don't listen to them. And you definitely don't answer them. Because when, you, when a dog barks, you don't bark back. You just walk away. These are not a minority. They do not represent 0 0.00001 of Islam. And they're not related to Islam. They have nothing to do with Islam. No prayer, no fasting, not even hajj. Their hajj, Allah knows where, where they're doing it, whether it's Qadian or to wherever. So definitely, this is unacceptable from you. Now, going back to your question, the hadith, la adwa wa la tira wa la hamma wa la safar. The Prophet says that there is no uh, um, contagiousness. I don't know if this is a noun or not. I'm just making it up. There's no contagiousness. There's nothing that is contagious. Now, people say then we don't have to wear face masks and we don't have to uh, social distance etc because there is no 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 this is your understanding because you do not understand an ayah without reading the whole Quran and the whole of the Sunnah of the Prophet in order to understand it it's a package deal it's a, not a retail shop it, you have to buy wholesale so when we get a hadith like this la adwa does it mean, okay, if someone has HIV, I'll take blood transfer uh, uh, from him with, with, with uh, no problem? Of course not. The Prophet ﷺ himself said, run from the one with leprosy like you run from a lion. So when you see a lion, you don't stand in the face of the lion and greet it simply because you see its teeth thinking that it's smiling to you you run likewise the prophet says some if you meet someone with leprosy and it is contagious run the prophet himself said as some if you heard of a village a town struck by the plague do not enter it this is known as quarantine and if the plague hits a city or a town you are in, do not exit it. And then you say that there's no contagiousness. This is your understanding. So, okay, Sheikh, give us a break. What's the understanding of it? The true understanding is that you do not attribute getting sick to a person or to the means that may have gotten you sick, may have infected you. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal is the controller of everything. So when you say, after catching a flu, for example, I said, oh yeah, yeah, my cousin came yesterday, he had the flu, I caught it up from him. He infected me. When you say that, you are claiming that he's the one who caused the illness. And this is not the case. He may have been the means of the illness infecting you, but he's not the one who infected you. And this is why we say, la adwa, there's no contagiousness. 
And the Prophet ﷺ gave a logical answer to this when a man said, after hearing this hadith, the same hadith, he said, Prophet of Allah, I have a herd of camel. And one camel comes into my herd and may infect others. So the Prophet said to him logically, who infected the first one? So the one who ca that came with the infection, with leprosy or whatever disease it had, and infected some of the herd, who infected it originally? Where did it come from? It was created by Allah Azza wa the creator of everything in this universe. So you don't say that. This is what Allah has preordained. And I'll give you a second example. And we have, uh, this, is, this was the last question. So maybe we have uh, a couple of callers or a few questions pending because we have like four minutes left. I'll give you another example, Akhi. Now, in a household, you find that a three or four members suffer from a very bad sore throat or the flu. And two or three are healthy and they're mixing and nothing happened to them. How is that possible? In the same household, you may find someone who was affected by coronavirus, COVID-19. Well, his wife and children were not affected at all. How is this possible? This is what is meant by there is no contag contagiousness. It is from Allah Azza wa Jal who chooses that and Allah Azza wa Jal knows uh, best.